250 years of slavery, 100 years of Jim Crow, sharecropping, the Ku Klux Klan, lynchings, bombings, mass incarceration, the separation and destruction of the black family. All of that has had an effect on our mind. Our mind needs to be decolonized. We today are experiencing mental slavery, not physical slavery as once our ancestors had to endure. In my book, Seven Steps to Decolonize the Mind, we take you through every step to start releasing the chains that's on your mind. He or she who controls the mind, control the person. It is in a vested interest of the white supremacist system to keep your mind bogged down in a mental slavery, throwing entertainment, throwing drugs, throwing alcohol, anything they can at you to keep you bogged down. You got to free yourself from mental slavery. By purchasing our book, Seven Steps to Decolonize the Mind today on Amazon. Make sure you share it with your family, share it with your friends. Everyone can benefit from decolonizing the mind because once your mind is decolonized, you will never be put to sleep again. This is me, Demetra Kay of the Demetra Kay Show here on YouTube and a proud contributor of the African Diaspora News Channel and the African Diaspora News Insider. If you could please do me a favor and subscribe to all channels and like this video, I would greatly appreciate it. So recently, um, I'm going to be nice, uh, a, a, a black man by the name of Ty Smith went on Fox News with uh, host Martha McCullum and said the following. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, there was slavery going on, but slavery itself was not initially a racist thing. It never was about race initially. So to sit there and take it like America was founded on racism, it's a complete lie. Yeah, there was slavery going on, but slavery was going on in all the world. It never was a race thing. So why are we making it a race thing now? So basically, you heard him say slavery was never about race. Well, then what was it about? Yeah, I know it was some cotton picking going on, tobacco and all of that, but if slavery wasn't about race, then why didn't they go kidnap their own people? Why didn't they go kidnap, you know, Asians or anybody else? Why did they kidnap black people if it wasn't about race? If it wasn't about race, how do you treat somebody and pretty much dub them to be subhuman uh, and, and classify them as a chattel and product if that's not about race? I mean, dude. Now, let me back it up a little bit. This Ty Smith... He is a, a radio show host, I think it's an internet type of thing, in Illinois. And you guys might have uh, seen him go viral when he opposed a critical race theory um, earlier in June. He was saying how I would teach kids to hate each other and all of that. And from that point, every conservative you know, television station and radio station has snatched him up. Because you know that's how they do. When they see one of us get the raccooning and all of that, they take them around the chitlin circuit and they get to talk bad about black people and you know talk about how much they love white people and all of that and so he's no different but he is absolutely a fool and they've also started calling him candace owens brother and i think that is very befitting because with that one he almost got candace beat not quite though because can't nobody be candace and all that dog on raccoon and she's doing but yeah ty smith Sit yourself down somewhere. Because one thing about white people is when they're done with you, they're done with you. And guess what? You can't come back around here. All right, y'all. So for more insightful commentary, please subscribe to this channel and my channel, The Demetri K Show, here on YouTube. Peace. Are you tired of the violence? Tired of the injustice? police brutality, rampant discrimination, lack of gun control in this failed by a socioeconomic experiment called America, or maybe you need a break from the relentless grind and want to regain control of your destiny, your wealth, your health, and your purpose. Diversifiedgame.com has the right course for you. Prepare for my first trip to Africa. Looking to reconnect with your roots, start a new business, or just a fresh start. Africa, AKA the motherland, is waiting. Don't let the Chinese and the Mazungus have the fun and also take over the motherland. 
from Cairo to Mombasa, from Dakar to Cape Town. Africa has something for everyone from business opportunities to the most amazing people, safety, leisure, and landscapes. So opportunities abound. It is time for the diaspora to reconnect with their roots. Time to reconnect with the birthplace of humanity. Africa is the last frontier. Get your head in the game and reclaim your legacy. The writing is on the wall. Babylon is falling. Give up the stress, grind and violence inflicted on our people on this continent and prepare for a journey of restoration and joy by connecting with the land of your ancestors. Check out our new course and kick off your adventure at diversifiedgame.com. Hello everyone. Please make sure you subscribe to the African Diaspora News Channel app on these platforms.